Hey everyone, today we are going to see details about system requirement for installing Microsoft Exchange Server 2019. So agenda for today is we will see server roles in Exchange Server 2019. We will see what server role can be installed in Microsoft Exchange Server 2019. Next we will see memory and server requirement for installing Exchange Server 2019. In this we will see memory or storage requirement for installing Exchange Server 2019. And we'll see what are supported operating system on which we can install Action Server 2019. Next, we will see prerequisites for installing Microsoft Action Server 2019. We will see what all required and mandatory prerequisites for installing Action Server 2019. In the last, we will see some of the post installation tasks for Action Server 2019. First, we will see server roles in Action Server 2019. So in Action Server 2019, two server roles can be installed, the mailbox server role and the age transport server role. Here the age transport server role is optional for your organization. It depends on customer requirement whether they want to install the age transport server or not. The mailbox server role contain these features. Mailbox server contain the mailbox database that process, render and store data. So all the databases are stored under the server role. So when we deploy new Action Server 2019, by default one default mailbox database will get created and all your users or your admin account, your arbitration mailboxes and health mailboxes, health mailboxes are stored on that default mailbox database. You can create additional mailbox databases depends on your requirement. The mailbox server contain the transport service that are used to route email. So all the transport services are hosted on this mailbox server role only to route your inbound and outbound emails. Mailbox server contain the client access services that accept the client connection for all protocols. The mailbox server role provides the all the client connectivity like Outlook, Outlook on web or OVA or Active Sync. All the connection points and all the virtual directory certificates are configured on the server role only. And the unified messaging feature is not available in Action Server 2019. And here the important thing is the mailbox server role perform all the function of client access server role, hub transport server role, which was there in the previous version of Action Server. The age transport server are typically installed in the perimeter network and are subscribed to the internal exchange organization. So the age transport server role is installed on your non-domain join machine. And uh, this server role is designed to sit in the perimeter network or in the demilitarized zone in your exchange organization. The age transport server role handle all your in external mail flow for the organization. And it provide the features like anti-spam and email flow rules as the mail enter and leaves your exchange organization. You can manage the age transport server role by using your action management shell. Now we will see memory requirement for installing action server 2019. So the mailbox server role required minimum 128 GB of RAM and minimum 30 GB free disk space should be available on the drive where we are installing the exchange. Let's say we are installing exchange on C drive. Then after installing the exchange, we need to have minimum 30 GB free disk space on the C drive. To install age transport server role, we need minimum 64 GB of RAM and minimum 30 GB of free disk space where we are installing the age transport server. Now here the minimum requirement mentioned for RAM for mailbox server role is 128 GB and for age transport server role is 64 GB. This is the minimum requirement or this is the recommended memory from Microsoft. We can install the this mailbox server role and the age transport server role on 16 GB of RAM or on 32 GB of RAM as well. But is the recommend the recommended setting or the recommended memory requirement is mentioned here. The file format supported is NTFS and REFS. The minimum required processor is 64-bit processor. 
and we need to have minimum 20% free disk space should be available on the drive where the mailbox database is hosted. This is the minimum requirement and if you are planning to host user mailboxes on on-premises and you want to save all the logs log file on the on-premises action server only then you have to add more memory. So these are the minimum memory requirement for installing Microsoft Action Server 2019. If this minimum requirement are not there, then there will be performance issue. And we need to add more memory, RAM and extra CPU as well for better performance. Now we will see operating system requirement for installing Microsoft Action Server 2019. We can install Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 application only on Windows Server 2019 standard or data center version. For now, this is the only supported operating system for installing Exchange Server 2019. So these are the two non-supported scenario for Exchange 2019. So we cannot install the Exchange 2019 on Windows Server 2016 and its earlier version is not supported. We can install the Exchange 2019 only on Windows Server 2019. And installing Exchange 2019 on computer that is running Nano Server isn't supported. Next we will see supported Active Directory environment that Exchange 2019 can communicate with. Your existing Active Directory forest function level should be on minimum windows server 2012 r2 and exchange 2019 can communicate if your active directory is on windows server 2019 as well your active directory play a very important role with exchange application because your exchange server is tightly integrated with your active directory environment these are the two non-supported scenario so the coexistence with Exchange 20, 2010 and its earlier version is not supported for installing Exchange 2019. Like if you have already Exchange 2010 in your environment, then you cannot install Exchange 2019. First, you have to migrate all the details from Exchange Server 2010 to Exchange Server 2013 or Exchange Server 2016. Then you can decommission this Exchange Server 2010. After that, you can introduce Exchange Server 2019 in your environment. And the Outlook 2007 and Outlook 2010 clients are not supported if your users are hosted on Exchange 2019. So these are the Windows Server requirement for Active Directory Forest function level for Exchange Server 2019. Next we will see prerequisites for installing Action Server 2019. So these are the required prerequisites for installing the mailbox server role. Now here we need to install these software on Windows Server on which we are installing the Exchange 2019. And we need these Windows component are required to install on the same Windows Server. We can run these two command in Windows PowerShell and after running these two command all the required windows component will get installed and we can download these first four softwares from this url exchange 2019 prerequisites after installing this windows component and software we need to restart the server so these are the mandatory prerequisites for installing the mailbox server role the latest update from microsoft regarding these prerequisites are available on this url Next we will see required prerequisites for installing Edge Transport Server role. So to install Edge Transport Server role, we just need these two software and this Windows component. As this role is installed on non-domain join machine, we don't need other Windows component or other software. You can download the software from this URL and more details are available on this URL. Now these all ports are required to open in Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 for better communication and not to have any performance issue from Exchange side. Now this is the supported email client for Exchange 2019. 
the exchange server 2019 support these type of outlook clients Next, we will see some of the best practices for Exchange 2019. So before installing Exchange 2019 for the first time, we recommend that you need to install it on test environment. With this approach, we can reduce the risk in the production environment and we can test all the details that we want on the test environment. And the test environment will act as proof of concept for our new Exchange Server 2019. And it is not recommended to install Exchange Server on Domain Controller. Only install the Exchange 2019 on Member Server. If you are planning to install your Exchange 2019 on your existing server where your Active Directory role is installed, then that scenario is not recommended by Microsoft. You need to install the Exchange on different server and Active Directory on separate Windows server. The reason it is not recommended because let's say if you are planning to perform any activity on Active Directory and if you need to restart the server or shut down the server for some time then that change will also affect on your Exchange 2019 as well. If you still install the Exchange on Domain Controller you will face issue with the Exchange services and the server component state for the Exchange. And once the Exchange Server is installed, we cannot change its installation path. Let's say you have installed the Exchange under the C drive and after successful installation, you cannot change the path of Exchange to some other drive. The Exchange installation path will remain same. Now these are the some of the post installation tasks that we need to follow. After installing Exchange for the first time, we have to apply the product key. A product key tells Microsoft Exchange Server 2019 that you have purchased the Standard Edition or the Enterprise Edition license. To check more detail about Standard or Enterprise Edition license, please check my separate video. The link is in I button and I have provided in the description box as well. Next we have to configure the mail flow and client access. In this step you have to configure the send and receive connector for your email flow and for your client connectivity like Outlook or ActiveSync devices you have to configure the virtual directories and certificates on Exchange Server 2019. Next we have to verify the Exchange Server installation. There are multiple ways to verify if the Exchange 2019 is correctly installed or not. We can run the command in the Exchange Management shell like the get hyphen exchange server and we can check for the output of build number with that way we can verify the correct community update is installed with the correct version we can check for all the microsoft exchange services are in running state and all the required component are in active state and we can very we can check or verify for the action setup log and uh, we can send and receive test email to your internal user and to the external user and we can confirm if the exchange is correctly installed or not. Next is install the exchange management tools. Now these exchange management tools are automatically get installed when you install the exchange in an unattended mode. And if you install the exchange with GUI or with graphical user interface you have to select the option to install the exchange management tools. Next is configure the instant messaging integration with Outlook on the web in Exchange. In this step you have to configure the instant messaging integration between Skype for Business Server and your Outlook on web in Exchange 2019. Next is change the offline address book generation schedule in Exchange. So offline address book or OAB is a copy of an address book that has been downloaded so that Outlook user can access the information it contains while it disconnected from the server. By default a new OAB generation schedule is every 8 hour in Exchange server. But you can change the interval from the Exchange management shell as per your requirement. 
in the last we can configure the age subscription in this to establish the internet mail through an age transfer server subscribe that age transfer server to an active directory site this will automatically create two send connector required for internet email flow if you don't want to subscribe the age transport server to an active directory site then we have to create this send connector manually to establish mail flow between your mailbox server and the age transport server now this is all about the system requirements for installing action server 2019 we will cover the exchange 2019 installation practically in another video if you have any questions or suggestions please do let me know in the comment section and finally thanks for watching